How's it going everybody and welcome to my very first tutorial of 2019. Today I'm just going to give you guys a quick uh, tutorial on how to resize um, pixel images without losing quality. So this is just like a little tip that I've given out for people um, in general if you want to, when I get commissioned, usually I like to use the in-game sprites for the trainer boxes. A lot of people like to use TCGR or whatever. I prefer using sprites, so I'm going to show you guys how to increase the size of sprites without losing quality. This can be applied to basically anything. It, you can use it for thumbnails, channel arts, or whatever, but this is just going to work. So what we're going to do first is we have to find our picture. I'm going to go on uh, Google, and as you guys can see, I just searched up uh, Pokemon Trainer. I'm going to resize... Uh, some of these trainers real quick so what we're gonna do is gonna open Photoshop and if you copy a file right here Photoshop when you uh, open a new file it's gonna automatically choose the canvas size equal to the size of your picture since this is just our base picture we could be completely fine with that so now we're just gonna press control V and we're gonna paste the the sprites I'm gonna get rid of the background just because it doesn't really matter if you do it or not so you'll um, the way you know is if you got good sprites is if you zoom in and they don't look like that blurry like you guys can see when you zoom into the grid you can see that all the pixels are aligned with the grid if you guys zoom in uh, well this is not a transparent background but let me just make transparent real quick yeah see this is my cell uh, my freaking tolerance is too high but you guys can see every pixel seems like it's a, like in the right spot right so that just means you got a good picture so what we're going to do is going to increase the size and a lot of people what they do is they just like to grab it and just press shift and resize it but you guys can see with that look what happens the image just gets insanely blurry so I'm going to give you guys a quick tutorial on how to do that so what we're going to do is we're going to go to image and we're going to go to image size and right here uh, I think the default is either pixels or intros, intro, inches sorry we're going to change it to percent so what I'm gonna do is let's say these are pretty small so I'm gonna I want them like five times the original size so we're gonna click on 500 so what that's gonna do is our new uh, image was from I guess 100 or something whatever it was to 1620 by 730 which is pretty good they're still not that big they're pretty small so we're just gonna resize them like that and boom you guys can see it is this but a quick tip is a lot of you guys um, might not have this option I forgot to mention this so what you're gonna want to do is right here on uh, the option is gonna be uh, by default and automatic and as you guys can see if you switch this to 500 percent automatic it's just gonna be blurry you see that you see that that's that's nonsense so what you're gonna want to do oops I'm changing back to 500 is right here on the resample we're gonna go to nearest neighbor hard edges that's and now as you guys can see it made a huge difference now you zoom in and it's not blurry at all so now we're gonna press OK and boom it's gonna be bigger so how do you know how big you're gonna want it well that depends on your project so let's see for example I'm just gonna do a quick uh, thumbnail which is 1280 by 720 that's the size that YouTube recommends you doing your thumbnails so I'm gonna drag this to the thumbnail size and you guys can see I mean they're obviously not that big you can obviously go up to a thousand times two thousand but for this video purpose we resize them uh, significantly to the point where you can actually like see what they are in a bigger scale and this uh, helps a lot when doing thumbnails or just using the sprites in your team slots for Pokemon so it's every time I do a commission I like to use sprites for the Pokemon boxes I don't know I just think they look cleaner so yeah, this was just a quick tutorial on how to resize your sprites without them, without losing quality. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions for a quick uh, tutorial for next time, make sure you leave it down in the comment section below. And the one with the most likes or the one that just interests me the most, I'll pin it and that'll be the next tutorial for the next week. I'm trying to do like quick weekly tutorials. So if you guys like this, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And like I said before, any other suggestions, I'd greatly um, appreciate if you guys left any comments, suggestions on what tutorials you want, either thumbnails or, I don't know, text. 
Text seems to be a very popular one, so I might do text next, redo it again. But yeah, pretty much this is it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.